Welcome to the Morning Show Plus. Marilyn, Mark, and Bruce are here. Guess what? Three hours, 47 minutes, there's a little spectacle that's going to happen. Yeah, very little. It's not, it's not a big deal at all, no, is it? Not at all. It's <laughs> 2017 that we've been able to see it. Solar eclipse. So you're probably wondering, what is a total solar eclipse? We don't get a total one. We get a partial solar eclipse. Uh, a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, and for a short time, completely blocks the face of the sun. But this is something that he can probably explain more because you are the expert. So there's a big difference between a total solar eclipse and a partial eclipse like what we'll see. Okay. This is kind of like a, a sleeper event for us, not a mm. big deal. In fact, if you go outside without solar glasses, you're really not going to notice any difference at all in the sky. Bummer. So you're not looking at much dimming at all. It'll look nearly as bright as what it looks like outside right now. The only way you would know notice if anything was happening would be if you were to look at the sun which is a big, big no-no right. unless you have the glasses on. And with those glasses, you could actually see part of what we say is like a Pac-Man kind of chewing out uh, the sun. And that's the actual moon moving in front of the sun. And so that's what we're going to see is a partial, just a little bit about uh, 60 to 70 percent of that moon is going to cover up the sun. That is not enough coverage to really dim and block out the sunlight. So that's why we're really not going to notice much around here. But don't be fooled. You still shouldn't look at it with a naked eye. We'll talk more about that here in a second. Now you've got the timeline for things here in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. I sure do. So, times for Jax. 147 is a partial eclipse. That's when it begins. And then for the most coverage is about 3.05 p.m. And then the partial eclipse, it ends at 4.19. Mm -hmm. So, are those times still lining up with everything yeah, that we're... Definitely. Okay. okay. Right, so, let's, let's take a look at the rest of the nation. So, it's going to come up from Mexico. And the path of totality begins in Texas, travels through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And, and you know, Mark, there are a bunch of people who actually traveled. Some went to Dallas, the Ohio Valley. They're in for a big surprise because they're not going to have optimum yeah, weather. Yeah, there's a lot of cloud cover in that area. And typically, you would expect the uh, portions of the desert uh, in Texas to be relatively clear. I'm going to go back to that eclipse glass uh, graphic here pretty soon. But that's 60 to 80 percent. That is the amount of coverage in the uh, of the moon over the sun. That's not the amount of cloud cover. Ah, I'm showing you okay. cloud cover here. So you can see all that white. That's uh, moving up from. Corpus Christi in through areas around Brownsville, Texas. That's going to be moving into Houston, which are kind of on the edge. The totality path is looking a little bit better there in Dallas, but over uh, some portions of Arkansas, there's some cloud cover. Really the best viewing today is going to be around the Indianapolis area and then up into Maine, where we're not seeing much cloud blockage uh, in those areas. But for us, we really are, are seeing sunny skies over us now, and we'll probably see about partly cloudy to most mostly cloudy sky. So anywhere from around 25 to 50 percent cloud blockage in the area. But notice how far those two yellow lines are. That's the path of totality. That's where you'll get complete blackout in the sky. And that is when it is safe to take off those glasses. So mm -hmm. for us, you have to wear the glasses the entire time. For those of the, uh, those people in the path of totality, they wear the glasses on while the moon is coming in. But once that moon completely covers up the the sun that's when it is safe to to look out and you'll see uh you know people that are in the path they feel like it's a complete spiritual movement it is yeah. so amazing yeah. to see something like that because there's many features that happen uh you when you think of the moon you think of it as a, a sphere or a mm. round object it, it's really not uh it's it's kind of lop, lump sided and there's there's val valleys there's volcanoes so when the moon moves right in front of the sun the photosphere is blocked, but there'll be little portions of valleys where you'll get a little glimmer of a sunlight coming through, and we call those the, the diamonds or the Bailey beads. And, and that's something that's so spectacular to see if you're in the totality zone. Uh, they're pretty remarkable, and that's why people travel all over, over the world and chase these uh, total yeah. solar eclipses. So you've been talking about the sunglasses. Marilyn and right. I have a, have a pair here. <laughs> so here's the thing. You can't use regular sunglasses. At all. You really need special pair, and, and they have to have 
you, you notice you've got the real thing. It says ISO one two three one two dash two. Uh, and they also suggest that you not look at the sun, even through these filters, more than three minutes at a time. And if you're going to use a telescope or binoculars, you've got to have a special solar lens as well. Right. So one caveat is don't put these glasses in front of your binoculars and then look through the binoculars. Ah. The, uh, these will change, the binoculars will change the wavelength of the ultraviolet mm -hmm. radiation and it can uh, still cause some problems. Right. So put these on and then use binoculars better than that. Don't even use the binoculars. Right. You mentioned the ISO seal there. There's a lot of counterfeit yeah. glasses that are going around on mm -hmm. Amazon. Make sure that these oh, are see, see, uh, You see the ISO seal right in there. Right. So on the corner. And I have a pair of these that are saved uh, from seven years ago during the Great American Eclipse. And I've, I've kept them in a, in a a book so that they wouldn't be creased. If there's any damage to the film, even a slight scratch, uh, you could have uh, some of that ultraviolet radiation right. coming into your retina and cause uh, some some problems right. with your so, eyes. So if they're cracked, don't use them. Don't don't or use scratched. them. If they're if they're bent, even if you can't see the the the, the, the film, if there's a a, de a defect on the film, just make sure that they have been. Uh, protected yeah right because the main thing is it's it's the radiation from the sun that can be harmful and right. we, we've actually seen reports of people a few years ago who saw the last eclipse mm -hmm. and they've had to go back to the doctor and they, they've had color distortion or, or blurred vision and it, it's mm -hmm. a real thing people don't realize how dangerous this actually yeah. could be impacting your vision mm -hmm. either temporarily or permanently and it can happen in a matter of seconds also is what we're learning so yeah. also a, a fun activity you can do with the kids let me just grab this here so you can make your own little viewing box. Uh, you can do it with a cereal box too. What you do is you take a small box like this and you close the entire back side here and, and you tape it up. Now inside the box you want to put a sheet of white paper, you know, maybe copy paper, and then you cut out two eye holes, okay? And uh, on the one eye hole you take a piece of aluminum foil and you take a pin and you make a little pin hole, okay? The other one's going to be your viewing hole and uh, what you do is you hold this up to your eye and you'll have the sun reflect through this little pinhole here and inside you can actually see the eclipse. Wow, mm -hmm. that's there's, cool. <laughs> there's also another thing you can do outside. If you're on pavement, like a driveway and you have a tree next to you, you can look down at the shadow that the leaves cast on the ground. Ooh. And as the sun filters through the leaves, you see crescents, many, many crescents, all kind of shimmering down, doing a dance on the ground. And it's the crescent of the sunlight hitting the pavement and the leaves create the shimmer. It's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do as I That's go outside. Gonna I'm going to look to see yeah. if right. that phenomenon is taking place. And you know, a lot of the conversation that we've also been having ar around the solar eclipse is what this can do to our pets as well. Mm -hmm. That's still a topic that folks should know. Should we keep the pets inside? I mean, we're only getting that partial eclipse, so, you know. Right. I, I don't think many pets do stare at the sun. I think they, <laughs> they know. I know dogs can't see in certain color bands. In fact, it's mostly black and white. I think the whole thing staring at the sun is a media overblown mm. phenomena. Let's talk the about it. The reason being is because you tell me, do you know anyone that can tolerate staring at the sun? No. Not at all. No. <laughs> we wince, we tear up, we close our eyes the moment because the nerves say, hey, there's pain, don't it's too do much. it. Right. So why is this an issue? Who really is up there staring at the sun? Unless they mm -hmm. have uh, really uh, some nerves that are damaged, yeah. they might stare at the sun. But uh, it's Not just the media try. saying <laughs> scaring people, right. right? But because it's going to be a several hours long event, maybe you want to have a playlist. So oh. somebody compiled this list of, uh, before we go to a quick break here, and Mark comes back with our local forecast, Dancing in the Moonlight by King Harvest, Ray of Light by Madonna, Sound of Silence, Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh oh, he's singing now. Here comes the sun by the Beatles, <laughs> Ocean Eyes, Billie Eilish, Blinding Lights by the weekend. Your forecast right, for the eclipse <laughs> coming up next on the Morning Show Plus. Thanks for staying with us.